Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. Yeah. Today we're going to talk about how to print TPU on the Monoprice Mini Select Pro. And I'm going to show you how to modify it to print it faster, better. Stay tuned. As soon as it gets done printing the uh, articulated slug, then I will show you how to modify it to print just about anything you need for a quadcopter. Alright, I first uh, saw Ryan Thomas's video on printing TPU on the Monoprice Mini Select Pro, and his prints look beautiful. I'll link in the description below to his video. And that's what prompted me to buy this printer and use his settings. I'm not going to go over his settings. Uh, you can go to his uh, channel or click on the link and you can watch his video. I'm using his settings pretty much. I'm changing infill a little bit, um, but mostly his settings. The only thing you need to modify this printer to print TPU without clogging or the extruder binding up the filament is a file a round file or you can print a new feed plate bottom and top to go on your printer and it will allow you to push the tube closer to the gear for the extruder so the filament has nowhere to go but down the tube so you can do this or you can just modify it with a file and I chose to modify it with a file and I just filed the, uh, the path for the PTFE tube and that's all you got to do and it's printing beautifully I haven't had it jam since I've done this I'm gonna give you a close-up and just say now if you put a uh, pyrodrome sticker on your printer it will print twice as fast I and mean, that, that's a known fact. Look how nice it's printing TPU. Look at that. Now it's going slow, but I have printed this at. I have printed parts at. Uh, I lost my parts. This is going slow, about 18 millimeters a second. But I have printed. I printed this at 30 millimeters per second after doing this modification and it had no problem. I think I can go in even faster than that. Let's get a uh, little shot of it here in action. You can see what it's doing. You can see how the tube, you can see the white tube there right up against the gear and the bearing. I'll take it apart here and you can see it firsthand. But yeah, simple. Simple, simple modification to get it to print. And of course, I modified the bed. I took the build tack off and I used a sheet of 5x7 picture frame glass and a Z spacer for the Z block, which is right in there. Clips on the uh, end of the Z block. And I'll put a link in the description for that. And you just need to print one of those. And that will keep your uh, Z-axis from slamming or the nozzle from slamming down into the print bed. It triggers that switch. You didn't see any videos about how to uh, do that or where it goes. So I just printed it and figured it out. But here's a video on where it goes. It goes right there. And that allows you to run a piece of glass on top of your bed. And you'll have to you'll have to adjust the, uh, the tune tune uh, button here. You'll have to adjust the bed level correction a little bit. Okay, I got mine at negative 0.4. I believe that's millimeters. But you'll have to you'll have to move that around because it's not going to be perfect. That seems to be pretty good for mine. Printing a uh, articulated slug right now. All right, my slug just finished. Looks pretty good. 
There's some other prints that I have printed. Got some boogers on his butt there a little bit, but not bad. And that is running retraction. Now, I tried running slow with retraction on and retraction off, and some prints work fine, and other prints would still cause a jam here on the extruder. It would push it out, push it sideways, it would get wrapped around the gear. All kinds of trouble until I modified the uh, feed plates. And I'm going to show you that right now. I'll try to do this on camera or while holding the camera. Let's see if we can do it. Alright. Here's the stock top plate. You can see how it's lighter right here. That's where I filed it, uh, filed it bigger. It was a much thinner hole there for the, just big enough for the filament to go through. And now I've made it bottom and top, I've made it big enough for the tube to butt up against these gears. Which is giving the filament nowhere to go but down the tube. It's got to go down the tube, it prevents this from jamming. I have not had it jam since. And that's with running retraction. Now I tried, in the stock configuration, I tried uh, with retraction off, retraction on. I tried slowing it way down and I would still occasionally get it jammed here or it would wrap around the gear, it would push it, try to push the filament out. But it has not done that since doing this modification. And that just took an uh, hour and 52 minutes to print that uh, slug. I printed uh, this, I printed, took six hours because I did 100% infill, but yeah, it, it has not jammed. I, I'm considering that good. I don't think it's gonna jam. Hopefully this helps someone. Um, once you get this tube out, you're going to take a razor blade and cut a backwards V in the tube so it makes a point so you can butt it right up against the gear and the bearing here so there's nowhere for the uh, filament to go but down the tube. And my focus is losing focus. Come on, Canon. Anyway, that's all I did. It took five minutes to file. Here, let me take that out. Oh, I got the filament still in it. it. Took me five minutes to file that and the top plate. You will have to take this off. Uh, you could probably use a Dremel tool and do it if you're careful and leave this on and that would make this, uh, putting this back on a lot easier. If you take this all the way off, this extruder here is going to fall down inside a little bit and you're going to need to stick your hand down in here and push that up, line up the four screw holes, and at the same time try to put this plate back on. And there's a screw underneath here. You have to try to get those two to line up and then bolt that down while holding this in place. It's, it's, it's kind of tricky. It would be better with two people. Anyway, that's all I did. Pretty simple. Makes printing with TPU uh, a breeze so far. No failures. Just thought I would make this little video to help anybody else that gets this printer. Highly recommend this printer. Straight out of the box, it was printing good, except my bed was a little warped. But the glass fixed that, so highly recommend getting glass. Glass made it uh, work so much better. Love printing on glass. Alright. That's going to do it for this video. I want to make it short and sweet. And brighten that up. One more shot of the uh, feed plate modification. Like and subscribe, y'all. Alright, coming up, I got a review of the Ethics S4 props. Also, before that, I got the Gym Fan 5146.6. I got a video coming out for those. And the T Motor 5147. I've already flown those. I got a few comments about those, so stay tuned. Thanks, y'all. Like and subscribe. I'm an effing drone. <laughs> I'm an effing drone pilot.